Hi. So, I was finishing off my thesis and I was like, hmm, I wonder how it would look like if I put my Galaxy Note's uh, front glass display under a microscope. And uh, to my amazement and a little bit of concern, I could see uh, quite a few, well, hundreds and thousands actually, of little micro scratches all over the surface and little dents and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, well, um, excuse me, Corning, but you promised that this glass could withstand everyday bumps and scratches, so how come there's millions of scratches on it? But then I thought, and I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess uh, micro scratches are acceptable as long as you can't see them, because in truth, no surface is completely smooth. So what's going on here then? Well, to understand this a little bit better, we should probably look at how Corning glass is actually manufactured and made. Basically, the grand secret behind it is a iron removal process, but we're not going to go into that. And basically, after this process, it enables the glass to have a, um, a layer of compressive stress on the surface. So, basically, it just means it's more um, s less susceptible sorry, to um, breaking and uh, scratches and uh, dents and things like that. So um, I thought that was pretty interesting and um, so yeah I got a bit curious and decided to find out the history of Gorilla Glass. Turns out it was actually made in the 60s so it wasn't a very new invention at all so we've been lied to. But anyway, uh, these guys they made the coin in Gorilla Glass and pretty much made it for a few, uh, pretty much a handful of uh, race cars in the late 60s of Plymouth Barracuda and um, yeah after that it was kind of just dropped and abandoned until a guy you might have heard of him called Steve Jobs uh, decided to make a phone. It's like Hey guys, got a phone, yay! And then he decided to try and test it out, put it in his pocket, and it just got completely obliterated and the screen was all scratched. And I was like, oh man, what do I do? So then he was like, okay, so I'll contact the head of Corning. And so he did, and the Corning guy was like, yeah, what do you need, Steve? And he's like, oh, can you make us a screen that's, um, you know, resilient to scratches and stuff? And he's like, yeah, I think we did something like that in the 60s, but I don't know what happened. And then Steve's like, okay, great, just make millions of them. And the guy's like, nah, sorry, bro, can't do that. And the Steve Jobs is like, oh, okay, we'll do it anyway. So they did, and then they pretty much made millions of screens for the iPhone, uh, the original iPhone, and then after that, um, production ramped up, and they started making it for heaps of different tablets and smartphones and TVs and stuff like that, until it's become what you see it today, so Gorilla Glass is used pretty much everywhere. Yeah, I just thought that was interesting, because, you know, I just got thinking about this and thought I might share it with you guys. So yeah, anyway, next time you look at your Galaxy Note or other smartphone device, just remember where it came from, or the screen of it anyway. So yeah, that was just a little bit of trivia for you, but um, yeah, don't fret, don't worry, I'll be back with some more Galaxy Note videos and etc. like that in the future, so yes, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe.